Let's go to James 5 and 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So let's go to the Expanded Bible. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so God can heal you. When a believing person prays, great things happen. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So what is it saying? Repent, maintain your salvation, and pray. So how do you repent? All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. That's it. From there, maintain your salvation. Follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. From there, pray. Prayer gets things done. Does that make any sense to you? For instance, myself. Or, <laughs> let me say this. Some people may not want to pray because they may say, well, I repeat myself over and over again and there is no sense in repeating myself. Well, what is it saying? Do it over and over and over and over again. Continue to do it. God is not human. I know if I come to you and speak about the same things over and over and over again, you are going to get tired of what I am saying. But God is not that way. If you pray to him about the same things, he is happy that you are praying to him. Does that make any sense? Let me say this too. Almost every day, I was praying about or for certain people. Almost every day. I received confirmation today. Actually, maybe an hour or two ago. And this person contacted me. Confirmation that God is answering my prayers. I did not just pray one time and say, you know what? This is a waste of time. God is not going to answer this. No, I continued and will continue to pray about it over and over and over again. Does that make any sense? So stop thinking that you only have to pray about something only one time. Continue to do it as much as you have to. I really hope this makes sense. God bless.